Hi everyone, this is Don Zavera and welcome back to my studio here in Troy, Ontario. Today we're going to be making goblets and we're going to be making two different kinds. We're going to be making one piece goblets and then we're going to be making two piece goblets. Now goblets are a great item to make because as you know in the Niagara Peninsula we have numerous wineries and there's tours and events all during the summertime. So it's a great item to make. So let's get started and make goblets. Before we get started in making wine goblets, I'm going to show you a tool that I use to measure the height and the width of each piece that I make. Because the goblets are made in one piece and because they are a set and people usually buy them in a the set, we want to make sure that the heights of each piece is about the same or as close as we can make them. The same with the two-piece goblets. The stem of that goblet is six inches and the cup is three and a half. So we want to make sure that each time we throw, we get the same size. So this tool here is what you can easily make out of pieces of wood. At the end here is a piece of leather so that when it touches your pot, it's not going to damage the pot. And what we do is we clamp this on, let me just show you over here, and then we pull it forward and down to the height that we want. So you have over here an adjustable um, kind of screw that you can tighten once you get the exact position that you want. And up here to a wing nut that we can tighten so that you can clamp this on the side of your wheel or on the table beside you. And then you can move it up and down and forward to whatever height that you need. Okay, so mine over here has already been set up for uh, five inches, which is the height of the one piece goblet. But somebody was asking about this and um, I just wanted to show you how this here is made and, and works. So this is our first little project we want to get done. Um, it's an important tool when you're doing production pottery as I do. And it will really help you out. It's a very cheap little tool that you can make. Thank you, and I'll be right back to get going on the goblets. Hi everyone, and here we are ready to go with our one-piece goblets. So in the one-piece goblets, I use one pound of clay, and the height that I use is five inches. So as I showed you before, the tool here that I have is I measure the five inches height that I want, and then I tighten that height. And I also want to have them for about, uh, uh, they cut about two and a half to two and three quarters inches wide. So maybe the first couple you're going to have to play around with and to get your height and your width. Because once we get that, then we can work towards that with each additional goblet. So we're going to center the clay now. Begin to make the goblet. Now I have the clay centered, and what I'm going to use is this part of my hand here. I'm going to cut that ball of clay and leave an opening and kind of pull the clay up. But I'm not going to go right up to this height. I'm going to go up just slightly below it. Okay? So here we go. We're going to squeeze the clay under, and I'm holding it down on the top and bringing the clay up. So you can see now I have this ball of clay and then I have what will be the pedestal of the goblet. <clears throat> then I open that top ball and I pull it up. Okay, so now we have it open and pulled up. I'm not worrying about this because I need this thickness here to support what I'm doing up here. If I were to go too narrow here, then this would wobble around on the top. So you've got to make sure that you leave that on the bottom and we're going to trim this part away later. So then we go into the cup. We bring the cup up and out. Now I'm watching here, okay? Then I can just go down here and pull it up slightly and then again grab the clay and bring the clay out and to that point. And then I can mark the clay here. And then with this finger here, I'm just going to push out slightly to make it a nice ball just look. Kind of a bulby look or whatever you call it. I'm going to bring this up again. 
Now, as I said, I'm not going to worry about this lower part right now. I'm going to mark in the foot of the clay. And so I'm using the nail, my nail here, this here finger. And I'm holding this finger here and then this nail here to make this little ridge, which is the bottom of the goblet. Okay? So there we go. Now, it is still pretty thick here, as I said, but we're going to trim that away later. So I'm going to cut that loose and then go right under the cup with two C's and your hand here to protect it and lift the piece off and put it to the side. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So we're going to center the clay. Like that. We're going to cut the clay and leave an opening at the bottom and slowly bring that clay up. Okay, like that. So we have this bulging piece up here and then the foot that's already started there. Then we hold that cup at the top, go down and pull the clay up. Okay, so now we have that bulb um, opened up. Then we get underneath here and we bring the clay out and up. And we can do this because we have a fairly thick bottom here to support this kind of action. So we go down again, out, and then out. Okay, and we can move the clay wherever we want and play with the final kind of shape, bringing it out and up to that marker. And I use my thumb here, and I mark it right there, and then I push the clay out below it just a little bit. And then I go down here with my finger and my thumbnail and make the foot. And I leave it at that. I don't worry about the thickness down there just yet. Now, one thing that we got to point out here, that I'd like to point out here actually, is that you can use your hands as tools. As, you, as you've noticed, the only tool that I have in making the goblet is the sponge. Because when I get up to here, I use this roundness of my thumb to produce the roundness on the upper part here. And we want a curve here so it fits our lip when we're drinking the liquid. Down here, I'm using my finger and my thumb again. So try to remember to use different parts of your hands as tools so that you're not always grabbing a, a tool and picking it up. So there you go. So that's the making of the goblet. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but I know you got it in you to do it. So um, try it out, and then as I said, grab it underneath the cup and lift it off and put it to the side. And there's our first two goblets. The next step, I will throw the two-piece goblets, and then when I'm done that, we'll do our trimming. So thank you for watching, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to do the two-piece goblets. And I throw uh, the bottom of the two-piece goblet on the back, so I'm going to have to make a pad here with my clay, almost two pounds, as I've shown you before, to hold the back. We place our bat down. Now the bottom part of the two-piece goblet is one pound. So I need to measure the height here. As I told you, the pedestal of the goblet is six inches. So we're going to come up here to six inches. Now we're ready to throw it. And you're going to have to do a test um, to make sure you get the right height and, and the right width for your um, bottom of your goblet. So I'm going to center the clay. I'm opening it to about, I would say, three inches. Let's check that out. Three and a half. Okay? And then we open up and go down to about a quarter inch from the bottom and we pull it open, just like that. And then we bring this in. I'm keeping my finger on the top to keep this top part nice and flat. Okay, now don't go too much higher than that because we've got to get our finger into the bottom. So we're going to go down now. And we're going to curve in for the bottom of the pedestal. And then we're going to pull up. 
Good. Now we're going to take my finger here and my other thumb behind the sponge and I'm going to make the ridge on the outside of the goblet. Now this part is really important. You need to wet your whole hand here. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this in and bring it up and make our shape and we're going to use this part of our hand to rest against this here cone piece of clay. If we try to squeeze it in with our fingers like this, the top part would wobble all over and it would fall. So we're going to do that. Get your left hand in the long C, support this, and bring it in nice and slowly. And up. See how that supports it really nicely. And then we're going to take our two fingers close together and we're going to squeeze this upper part and bring the lip up and then bring it out. Go in underneath and up. And then we're going to do a nice little mark there, another one here, and then I'm just going to use my the flat of my finger here and push that in. Now this is a little thicker down here than I want, but you'll see when we're trimming, we'll be able to finish that off. So there's our pedestal. We're going to cut that off. And we're going to put that to the side. We're going to do that one more time. You know I like to do everything twice, just so that you get it. Take our one pound ball of clay, center it, bring it down to about three and a half inches wide. Then we open it, go down, across, wet it, and we bring it up into a cone, compressing the top of the clay. Bring it up there. See, I've got fingers on the inside and outside. And then I cut the top to make this nice and flat. Then we're going to bring the clay in and bring it up. And we're going to bring it up to about an uh, inch to an inch and a half below this here mark. Now again, we're going to get the C shape of our hand to support the clay. Come in nice and slow and slowly pull it up. Once we get up here, we're going to cup our fingers and bring the clay in. Now you can make any shape that you want. This here is my shape that I make and you're welcome to it. I really don't care. Or you can change the shape here. Like let's just do a few little things. Let's put a mark there. Nice mark there, and a mark there. So that could be your pedestal. So then when you're holding it, the fingers will sit in those ridges. So there's all kinds of different shapes that you can do. You don't have to keep to one shape, right? But this again gives you your height. Now I went up a little high on this <laughs> because I was playing around with the shape, but I'm just trying to show you that you can do different shapes on the bottom. You don't have to come in on the bottom, you can go around on the bottom and have fun with it, okay? So there we go again. And we can take that off. Now we're gonna throw the cup. And the cup is three quarters of a pound. I'm gonna take a little bit of clay off of that. It's four inches wide and three and a half inches tall. So I'm going to center the clay, go down, squeeze and bring the clay up. Go into the bottom, come out to a nice bulging feeling and then flip the clay out. And then here again you see my thumb, it's going to mark the rim and there's the cut. Okay, and we can check that. So we have four and a quarter inches and just about three and a half. Perfect. Then you can lower this after you've done your test run 
so that all the ones you make afterwards will be the same height. Okay, so there's your two-piece goblet. Play around with it. You can make other kinds of shapes of cups if you want. And uh, we'll be ready to start trimming. Now we're ready to begin the trimming. So I throw the, this mound on my wheel head here, and it's about approximately the width of the goblet, about half ways down. I'm going to dry the surface with a towel a bit. And then I'm going to put my goblet down on it and secure it. Now, if you want, you can get, I use these uh, caps from different jars. It's important to get ones that are really flat so you don't mark the bottom of your goblet. And now you can hold the goblet down as you're trimming it. We're going to get our trimming tool and we're going to start by going down in here. I'm going to take this excess clay that we had in order to support the goblet away. So we're going to trim this away. And we're going to come nice and around and then just make that rim nice and uh, round as well. So you can see, just be very careful and do it slowly. There. So it's a lot narrower in here now. Now I'm going to just round the edge here and mark it with a little mark. Check that. Make sure I like the shape in here because you want that to be comfortable when people are holding it. Put my tool down for a minute. Sign the piece. And then hold the cup and take it off. So there's the finished goblet now. So you can see the difference between the thickness before it's trimmed and after it's trimmed. Let me just get this here. So you can see that we need that thickness here in order to hold the cup and then we trim it away to make it nice and slender. So let's do one more. Put it on, tap it into center and just push it down a little bit. And as I said, you can use the cup or the uh, cap on the top and then slowly go on the inside here and cut away that excess clay. Now you see my thumb is securing the bottom here as well. It's holding the goblet, helping to hold the goblet into place. Come all the way around and make sure you've got a nice shape. Again, we're going to go in. It's quite a bit of clay there, so don't worry. If you go through a few, then you'll learn a lot quicker. I've been making this shape of goblet since I started back on the farm, and they still seem to be popular, so I continue to make them. And then we go up here at the top, cut back the clay slightly, put a nice little foot, and then get your marking tool to sign your name. And then hold the cup, start the wheel off, up a little bit, and it'll just take it off nicely. Okay? So there you go. Your one-piece goblet. Okay. I'm going to get set up, and then we're going to do the two-piece goblet. Okay. Now I have my pedestals and my cups all together. And what I do is I set my cups up on top of the pedestals. And this helps me to kind of gauge that they are all about the same height so I can kind of move them around so that we have them about the same level. Because no matter how hard you try, some of your pedestals and some of your cups are gonna be higher or lower than other ones. So this is a really good technique to get them all lined up. Now I usually do a whole wear board of them. Now I know with me and I'm sure with you, it drives you crazy when a customer comes into your studio and lines up all these goblets and they're like a sixteenth of an inch different and they say, ah, oh, that one doesn't match. 
And I have to remind him that it's all handmade. And I'm not expecting to be perfect on the heights, but they do. And it's happened for 47 years and it'll probably happen for the next 47 years. What are you gonna do? So now I kind of look at it and that's pretty good. Not bad. So now we're gonna begin the trimming. So here we are back at our wheel and we're gonna take these goblets, the bottom part first, and we're gonna put it on our mound and we're gonna tap it into place and give it a little tap on the bottom. Then we're gonna trim away this excess clay here at the bottom and make this bottom nice and round. And we're gonna use the other part and kind of make a nice curve there and redo our line there. There. Then we're going to take our fork and we're going to score the bottom here and work up that clay. Just some water. And then we're going to take our pedestal and I'm going to dip it in just slightly on the rim and I'm going to score that as well. take that and try to put it in center as well as I can so that I can see that there we are. I'm going to take my cap and I'm going to push down and I'm going to use my thumb here to secure the bottom part of that pedestal and my nail on my right hand and push down the clay and then push it in. Then we'll take my tool, the back part of the tool, and I'm going to push into the bottom so that it's nice and secure. Okay? Just like that. Then we can take our trimming tool, and you see how this is thicker here? We're going to slowly but surely take away the excess clay. Now again, as I said earlier, we need a little bit of thickness there to support the pedestal when it was um, being thrown. So now is the time to take away some of that clay and to give it a little bit more of an elegant look. There we go. One more time. And there we go. Then I'm securing my thumb on here yet and I'm going to slowly take away the excess clay on the bottom and round that off nice and neat and then put a nice little mark in the bottom. Now I can take my signing tool and sign the bottom. And data. Later, when I'm finished everything, I will get a pin tool and put a hole in the center. And what that does is it will release the air that's inside of this here part of the pedestal. Because if we don't do that, the clay will shrink and the air will make the bottom bulb up and your goblet won't sit flat. So we need to put that hole in a little later. Now to get the goblet off, we hold the cup here and just very slowly lift it off. And there we have our goblet. Now, the one thing I want to point out about the tall goblets and the other ones as well, is that you want your uh, bottom of your pedestal to be wider than your cup. And why? It gives it security. If it's too narrow, it's gonna to look top heavy and it will fall over. Even if it doesn't fall over visually, people will back off from buying it because they'll see that it looks like it's unstable. So we want the bottom of the goblet to be wider than the cup. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. So there's our two-piece goblet. I hope you enjoyed the video. And to Jane and to Marty, I want to see some goblets. And take care and be safe. Thank you for coming to my studio.